For your microeconomics final exam, if you've been getting confused on the difference between fixed, variable, total, and marginal cost, I'm gonna fill out this cost table and then we'll apply it onto a graph so you can see how the cost curves look. And before we get started here, if you wanna see where you stand for your actual exam, go take my free practice exam in my bio. It's a cumulative exam with 25 of the most common types of problems I see professors put on their exams. All right, now with that being said, we're gonna start with the easiest one here of fixed cost. And the beauty of fixed cost is that it stays the same per unit of output. So I'm just literally gonna write 10 bucks here for all of these units. It's fixed, it stays the same. Imagine this like our rent payment. No matter how many units we're outputting, we're gonna still pay 10 bucks a month for our warehouse or whatever building we make our good in. Next up here is variable cost. This is essentially the cost of goods per unit of output. Like if we had a lemonade stand, variable cost would be the lemons and the ice and any other flavoring that we put in each cup of lemonade. So it's gonna rise as we output more units, as we're buying more lemons, ice, flavoring, etc. The one thing I do wanna note about this is that notice that we're increasing by a little bit at first, only three bucks here. And we start to increase by more and more as we go down. That right there is gonna be why the marginal cost curve dips down at first and then rises sharply. We'll get to that in a little bit here. All right, total cost is super simple. We're just adding together the fixed and variable cost. So 10 plus 15 is 15. 10 plus eight is 18, et cetera. All right, marginal cost, we just need to zone in on this column here for total cost. Because all marginal cost is, is the change in total cost. How much did a given unit add to total cost? We're gonna skip over the first unit here because there's not a previous total cost to compare it to, to find that change. But the second unit here, we can say, all right, 18 minus 15 is three bucks. This second unit here added $3 to our total cost. It went from 15 at one unit to 18 at two. This third unit here, 25 minus 18 is seven. So the third unit added seven bucks to our total cost. And the fourth added 10 and the fifth added 15. 